Hello, and welcome back to NobodyWantsYouHealthy.com. We're taking questions from our readers and listeners. So, Steve, what do we have today? Okay, well, Betsy writes in. She's a fan of your book and has been on your website and excited about the prospect of uh, possibly getting the benefits from uh, testosterone pellet therapy, replacement therapy. But her girlfriends advised her, oh, no, 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 no. If you do that, you're going to go bald and you're going to get a beard to replace it and you're going to get a low voice. So that immediately made her pause and she wants to talk to the expert and find out if her lady pals uh, are on the right track or not. All right, Betsy. Well, you don't have any reason to worry, girl. Uh, your friends are probably love you and they're great people, but they are totally misinformed. Uh, testosterone is the most abundant hormone, as you probably found out in my book, in both men and women their entire life. Testosterone deficiency gives the symptoms that you saw in my book. And this mythology out there that testosterone will turn you into a man if you're a woman is um, laughable. Uh, if that was the case, then transgenders could save millions of dollars of medical treatment and surgery. No, in fact, Testosterone does not make you go bald. There was a study showing that women on testosterone pellet therapy versus those not on therapy had no change in their hair follicle count on their scalp. Uh, additionally, another study done looking at voice tone showed that there was no statistical reading showing any change in the voice on women on testosterone pellets. And lastly, uh, facial hair, body hair, that can increase a little bit with testosterone pellet therapy. However, it doesn't dramatic. It doesn't dramatic in men, it isn't dramatic in women, and men get much more testosterone than women as far as their supplementation is concerned. The interesting thing I found out over 17 years of doing this therapy is that women over 50 have an 80% chance of having to treat their facial hair with pl plucking, bleaching, waxing, electrolysis, laser, whatever, an 80% chance, and that's not even on testosterone therapy. That's just the baseline. So, you know, it may increase your peach fuzz a little bit, or it may not, but that certainly shouldn't dissuade you from being healthier, happier, more productive, better mom, better wife, better companion, better worker, a better person. So, Betsy, go ahead and give it a try and let me know how it goes. Good luck to you.